Hello everyone and welcome to another Premier Injury Daily Roundup. Now, we're in the midst of a double game week, double game week 20, so there's going to be lots of updates uh, throughout the week, so keep your eyes and ears peeled. Of course, as always, www.premierinjuries.com for the injury table and at Ben Dinry or at Premier Injuries on Twitter for the latest news and updates. We also have some FA Cup third round fixtures. Liverpool and Wolves playing on Tuesday night. We've heard from both managers. It looks as though Wolves could potentially welcome Diego Costa back into the squad. He faces a late fitness test, but he has made some good progress. The injury that he picked up in that, uh, I think it was against Leeds, that's kept him out of the last few. So he's back in contention. For Liverpool, Darwin Nunes, he's progressing really, really well but it's probably going to come too soon for him. In terms of availability, James Milner did return to the squad uh, at the weekend there against Brighton. He has trained fully, so he's maybe pushing for a start. And there's also a potential return for Stefan Bajectic. Hopefully I've got that right. Uh, he is involved in full training as well. That was a whack on the hip. So that was a painful one, but nothing too serious. Elsewhere, like I say, players are progressing, but it's likely to come too soon. Darwin Nunes, that's a hamstring problem that kept him out of that Brighton game. Elsewhere, big news from St. James's Park. We've seen Bruno Guimaraes go down uh, around about that 35, 40 minute mark against Fulham. That didn't look great. You having the ankle heavily strapped. Then he limped off at half time in a lot of discomfort. Um, yeah, does it look great? Eddie Howe. Uh, said post-match that he needs to be evaluated, of course. He will have a scan on Monday to determine the extent of that. Like I say, hopefully the fact that he was able to continue at least for a little bit is maybe some good news. However, that MRI scan or that imaging may come back, may not even be conclusive. So it could be uh, a day or two before we have something more solid uh, with regards to that. But like I say, uh, that's the big news coming out of St. James's Park with that ankle injury. Uh, for Tottenham, we've seen very disappointing in that North London derby. There was a mixed injury update from Antonio Conte. We've seen the return of Richarlison to that bench. Uh, there was also a start for Dejan Kuvlsedski. Uh, he's returned from a muscle problem. He was thrown straight back in there, while East Basuma was named on the bench. Of course, he was a late withdrawal from that third round FA Cup tie. It was Papi Saw that got the nod over Oliver uh, Skip in that game, which maybe come as a little bit of a surprise. Brian Gill also dropped out for Dejan Kuvaletsky. Uh, we're waiting to hear whether Rodrigo Bentico can recover from that adductor issue in time to face City on Thursday. It's certainly looking good in terms of his availability, but with regards to his start, maybe he would be there in terms of his match fitness. But given the pressures associated with Tottenham's recent results, Antonio Conte may be tempted to throw him straight back in there. We also seen Bournemouth on Saturday evening. That was the late kickoff. And the Cherries were without influential striker Dominic Solanke. Now, that was a knee problem. It was a non-contact injury in train. Gary O'Neill said it was a little bit of a strain, strange one and he's still being evaluated. Always a concern when you have non-contact injuries. So, like I say, we haven't got a great deal on that. But suffice to say, it doesn't sound too good at the moment. we also seen Lewis Cook forced off in around that 30 minute mark. Went in for a challenge. Big challenge, potentially open these knees up when you see that mechanism of injury, potential involvement for that medial collateral ligament, that MCL, and potentially even uh, maybe some meniscal damage in there. Uh, he was taped up. He asked if he could continue, but didn't last very long. For Crystal Palace, Patrick Vieira confirms that Joe Kim Anderson was forced off with a cough complaint. Again, we're waiting to learn the full extent of that problem. Had an issue prior to that World Cup break with that cough. Didn't keep him out for too long, around about that nine to ten days. So fingers crossed it's something of a similar ilk. Chelsea, they scraped a three points, Graham Potter will be much relieved with that win, but they've done it without Dezenis Zakara. He was um, picked up that thigh problem, up a quad injury uh, on the Thursday evening, the game that Zhao Felix was sent off. He got a three match ban. It looks as if Zakara's going to probably be out until around about mid February. We're thinking around about four weeks, although potentially Graham Potter is hopeful that that injury isn't as severe as maybe uh, his first thought. 
Elsewhere, just a few updates. Obviously, Bukaya Saka was past fit. There was no lasting effect from uh, that uh, third round tie against Oxford. So that was great news. We also seen the return of Tyreek Mitchell after his three match ban. Um, Steve Cooper at Forest again, they've got a mounting injury list. We've seen Ryan Yates forced off. That was a bang to the face. Uh, although Steve Cooper said that he hadn't actually seen the problem with that, but suffice to say what he did say, that's a player that doesn't tend to go down easily and more so is not a player that likes to be replaced uh, so much so. So he will be assessed. And like I say, Forrest have that increased uh, injury list. Or oh, Iwobi was a player who didn't return to the match day squad, although Nico Williams was back again after taking that bang to the face. Uh, that was a nose. However, he could be without goalkeeper Dean Henderson, which is a big one. Uh, Peter pulled up after clearing the ball, a kick. So gain up a thigh quad related. Now, Steve Cooper admits that that doesn't look great. It suggests that maybe, you know, it could be a few weeks on the sidelines for the on loan goalkeeper. Rico Henry, he missed out for Brentford at the weekend. That was a calf problem. Hopefully back in game week 21. If he doesn't, then maybe he should be game week 22. That would be absolutely fine for him. So that's it for now. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. There will be lots of updates again coming up ahead of game week 21. See you again very soon.